Hello! You know, I've done so many sitting in front of a bunch of stuffed animal videos that I haven't gone on a good old adventure in quite some time. I mean, granted, 2020 is the year of not going on adventures anyway. We've all been stuck. Trapped, actually. It's Thanksgiving today. Happy Thanksgiving for everyone not watching on Thanksgiving, because this is not being posted on Thanksgiving. Um, I'm driving to my parents' house where we're gonna attempt to have a safe Thanksgiving, or at least I am. And uh, I'm really excited because this is hashtag tentgiving. I've been posting about it on social media, I've been talking about it on my podcast. I've been forcing myself to talk about it as much as possible so that I don't back out and then I actually follow through. And so I'm really excited <laughs> to camp in a tent in my parents' backyard in an attempt to maintain some distancing because I refuse to share a room with my brother who I love, who snores. Who I love, but he snores. And so I'm gonna rough it. I'm gonna enjoy like the rusticness of sleeping on a lake shore with my parents' house 50 yards behind me. Warmth and joy behind me. Got everything in my back seat. There's my tent in that big garbage bag. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be a trip home to my parents if I didn't bring my laundry. So let's do this. Hello! Why isn't Mirka cooking? Hello! I brought my laundry. I just decided I'm bringing it every, bringing everything. Ooh, I like your flannel. Yeah. That's nice. Are you cooking? Oh yeah. Sure. you can, what you eat. It's Thanksgiving, everybody. I've got my tent right here. I'm so excited to bring it back out. I'm so excited. So I've got all this option of where I could pitch it, and I think where I'm gonna go is right over there by those trees. So we're gonna take the boat, family boat on the lake. Always a good time. That's where my tent's gonna be. It's, it's a work in progress. And by a work in progress, I mean I set the tarp on the ground and I said, that's enough for now. Let's go on the boat. It is muddy down there. You gonna watch me build my tent, Madeline? You gotta figure out how to put all these sticks in the right holes to make it pop up. And that's the roof that goes over it. Now hold that for me right there. Be a good help. Yeah. See if you can put them in the holes. You're a good helper. It's a little wobbly. It's a little wobbly, isn't it? Okay. Almost there. You got when you come to visit us. Come. Is this where you go sleep? Yeah, I'm gonna go climb in there once we get it set up. Let me put this on top of it. So in case it rains, it'll keep me dry. And when it rains when you sleep in, you can get sneaky in Stay nice and dry. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I think I figured it out. Come on, get inside here. And We've almost got it. How's it looking there, Madeline? Do you see? Is it comfortable? Boom! There we go. This is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Yeah. Uncle Tom is gonna lie down right here. This fits. Pretty cool, isn't it? It fits you pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I like this roof. 
you like that roof? When you wake up tomorrow morning, are you gonna come visit me? Mm -hmm. You come out here and knock on my door? <laughs> and then I'll open up the zipper. And I'll say, who's there? And I'll say, I'm Uncle Tom. And this is my tent. We did it! I had a lot of help. <laughs> I had all the help from my niece. Thanks, Madeline. You did a good job. Okay, we're rolling. I feel like <laughs> this is a ghost story. <laughs> In my tent, you guys. Look at that. There's the orange roof. I love this tent so much. I got this tent. In 2014 as one of my primary purchases for when I hit the road for running two for nine months I started out at the Grand Canyon and I knew I'd be camping out several times on that trip so I invested in this amazing tent it's been with me literally all over the country and <laughs> never did I ever think I would be spending the night at my parents house in the backyard but I am I actually was hoping to go to bed a couple hours ago and we had such a crazy night y'all because my parents plumbing <laughs> <laughs> I guess with nine people in the house, it just like collapsed. And so we were like, my brother-in-law, my brother, my dad, we were all like, water was dripping from the pipes. We were collecting it in buckets and shoveling it outside and digging for septic tanks in the backyard. I hope y'all's Thanksgiving was a little less eventful, but I'm about to go to sleep now and enjoy what's left of this Thanksgiving. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Good night. Hello, let me get some light in the situation here. Oh, how do I not make it so harsh? Ow, or scary looking. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's just after six in the morning, the day after Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving that continues. And I slept not great. <laughs> I was, I think, expecting to sleep better. It was a little colder than I thought it would be, and then for some reason the ground wasn't as comforting as I remembered it to be. A little chilly, and my back's a little, not sore, but it could it could use some stretching here this morning, so I'm gonna do some, <laughs> do some tent yoga or, or something to kind of get, get the gears going here, but. I think what I'm gonna do is do some stretching, go get some coffee inside with my mask, and uh, not drinking coffee with the mask, but but y'all y'all get it. Ugh, and then we'll wait for a little more daylight and kind of close this thing out. I've also got my interview with the New York Times Realtor Division at one o'clock today, so I can't wait to talk about my experience. All right, time to stretch it out. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Got a little more light. I just got the call for breakfast from my dear sweet mother. So let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast at the lake. There it is. Beautiful morning. And there's the dwelling place, still without adequate plumbing. <laughs> Hopefully figure that out today. All right, so I'm in the sunroom in my parents' lake house, and I'm about to sign on for this Zoom call. <laughs> um, it is from a free, freelance reporter working on an assignment for the New York Times real estate section. So it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> so we're about to get old Allie on the on the line. See see what happens. Hey there. Hello. We got a video going. What's up? How's it going? Good. Good to good to meet you, Allie. Likewise. Yeah. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. It was a good time. Uh, well, thank you for uh, replying to my DM. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to hear about your tent. Yeah, I was curious how many other people you messaged or what, uh, how much you saw that happening on Twitter. Um, I, I reached out to a handful of people um, who had done it like over the summer. Okay. And a few have responded. I've talked to a few. Nice. So I'm, I'm excited to hear how it went. Yeah. Um, yeah, so why don't you tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, what inspired this idea? Where did this come from? And, yeah. you know, why you decided to do this? Yeah, so... Cool. Well, thank you again. Um, I'll uh -huh. be in touch and hopefully with a link. Yeah, I was going to say, shoot me a link if it ever comes to fruition. I'd love to, to share it with my followers. That'd be great. 
Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, All right. Have a good day. And, yeah. And um, hopefully you get some sleep tonight. I know. That's the goal. Hopefully I sleep much better tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, happy thank post Thanksgiving. Good to meet you. Thank you. Likewise. All righty. See ya. And that's it, you guys. I can't wait to see what happens with this article. I'm so excited. It's so random. This reminds me of a time when I was a freshman in college at my little dinky Christian college that had like 600 people total. And I got interviewed by the college press. <laughs> but they interviewed me for Rocket Day because the, one of the science departments, or the science department was hosting a rocket launch day um, for like the youth of the city or something. And so we were launching these little rockets in the backyard or like in one of the fields of the college. And they interviewed me, and this is like my huge claim to fame back in 2006, because they interviewed me and asked me what I was looking forward to at Rocket Day, because I was volunteering. And I, th and I said, I believe, and I quote, it will be rewarding to see those rockets fly. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, it will be rewarding to see Thanksgiving turn into something far greater than I could have ever fathomed. All right, everybody. Thanksgiving is about to officially end. Let's see if I can do this while holding the camera. There we go. Made like some sad trumpet music. <laughs> there it goes. All right, y'all. I am thrilled with how this went. I need to do need to do more um, travel travel logs again. It's my hope that when the world gets less crazy, I get back to resuming my usual travels. That uh, yeah, I can start to translate that more into YouTube. Because that's something I really want to do more of is sharing my adventures with whoever wants to watch them. So this has been Tense Giving 2020. Super memorable, like I was telling Ali. Um, I may not remember 99% of the Thanksgivings in my life, truthfully. I mean, I might generally remember who I was with or, or um, you know, experiencing family or friendship for Thanksgiving, but how often do we remember specific holidays where specific things happened? I guess 2020, something very specific happened. Thank you, Tent. You served me well. <laughs> I'm gonna pack up my car, head back to Asheville, and Everyone out there, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe, continue to stay safe, making good decisions, and one day at a time, we're gonna get through all the craziness that's happening in the world. So if you enjoyed this video, if you wanna continue following my journey, I'd love it if you liked the video on YouTube, if you subscribed, um, and you can follow me on all the socials, at Thomas Mark Z, including TikTok. I may or may not be getting more active on TikTok. Much love, everyone. Grateful for all of you. Oh yeah, I should have said something about gratefulness this whole episode. Oops.